What's up, guys? Thank you for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. So glad you could tune in today for this video, and I hope and pray, as always, you'll find it helpful. Okay, I want to share something with you guys. Um, please, please, if you get a chance, while you're on YouTube, I want you to do me a favor. Do me a favor. Look up my dear friend's YouTube channel. He has got a fabulous video that he just released and it is the absolute gospel of traditional bow hunting it is so true i think it just came out actually last night robert carter my friend robert carter now he is a swamp hunter hog hunter turkey hunter deer hunter all of that and longbow i mean he is straight up traditional guys but he put a video out and i watched it and it is the absolute truth, guys. It is. And it's about focus. And I want to touch on that just a little bit today, guys, and go over some things that might be helpful to you. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is when you're on your traditional journey, uh, whether you choose to just be a yard shooter, a 3D shooter, or an actual bow hunter, there is a difference, guys. There is. Because if you're just going to shoot 3D, you can really develop a multi-step process, a shooting process that is absolutely accurate, accurate, accurate. You can aim. You can do lots of things, guys. And it is it's super cool. It really is. But, but, if you are a hardcore bow hunter, now I'm not saying that you can't use these because, yes, you can but I'm going to share my insight as a traditional bow hunter, and the good Lord in heaven has blessed me tremendously with lots of really good animals, um, and, and even every animal is a blessing. It doesn't matter if it's a doe, just like our target here. A doe, to me, is just as much a blessing as a 12-point buck with a recurve or a longbow, okay, because you are successful if you actually make a shot, put an animal down, recover it, and get to bring it home with this kind of equipment guys all right so i want to touch on some things kind of like my friend robert did you know guys focus is the key you can do everything in the world and blow a shot when it comes to actually hunting okay sometimes and what i have found to be the truth in the case for me if you are bow hunter minded it's better for you to develop a process that involves the least amount of thinking that's it where you just look at something and you shoot it and let your subconscious be the guide let it do its job okay and that's what I've developed guys and it has paid off for me leaps and bounds in the woods okay now we're talking in the woods guys so and I'm not saying that it's dominant by any means on a 3D course in competition, no. Because an aimer will always outscore you, they always will. In 99% of the cases, it's gonna happen, but that's okay, guys. I mean, that's that. It, it is what it is. But if you are a bow hunter and you want to kill animals with a recurve or a longbow, you really need to develop something that is going to be 100% successful, at least something you can do without thinking about it. So guys, how do you how do you get super accurate with any trad boat? How? And not have to think about a process. You gotta keep it simple. That's right. Very, very simple. The simpler, the better, guys. It is. So I'm gonna shoot a couple of times and I'm gonna try to explain a little bit of something <clears throat> excuse me that you may not be aware of you may not now there has always been and always will be kind of a uh, division among the the thought school of what is instinctive and what is not and is there an instinctive or is there not well guys let me tell you the honest take on it we call it instinctive because it's a learned process your subconscious takes over it takes over everything but it is a learned process through practice it is guys with no conscious aiming involved so 
hopefully that kind of just sums it up in a nutshell if you want to call yourself an instinctive shooter like i do it means that i have zero thought zero thought about my arrow itself now i did the video on the are you struggling that was a demonstrational video and it got a little bit mixed up i had i had like hundreds of people say well i thought you were instinctive jeff but you're talking about aiming you got to go back and look at the video and see why I put it out and what I explained. Watch the whole thing, not just a little clip. Because what I explained in that is if you are struggling, because I can shoot multiple ways, guys. I can gap shoot. I can shoot split vision. I can shoot pure instinctive. I can do it all because I shoot a lot. But you have to more or less pick one. And in that video, I explain how you can use your arrow paying attention to your arrow especially in a 3d course you can pay attention to that arrow and be much more accurate okay but i don't do that with hunting i rarely ever do it in any shot that i take i am strictly focused on that spot because guys i've come to believe it's like robert says i've come to believe that if you lose that intense focus and I have preached it in every video I've ever had pretty much. If you lose that intense focus, you've lost your shot. I call it having the shot made before you ever take it. Because if you take your eyes off the prize, I don't believe you can put that arrow right there where you're wanting to put it. Now we're talking small, small, okay? So in the case of a live animal, what do you do? You look at that animal, you hone in on exactly where you want that arrow to go. You draw and you shoot it without thinking. You don't have time to think in the woods. You don't, guys. I've, I Rarely ever do I have an animal pose for more than a couple of seconds in the wild and give me the perfect shot. Not being behind a tree, not being angled wrong, not on the move, not something. So that's what I've learned is when the opportunity comes and you're up there in a stand or in a blind or whatever with a traditional bow, you've got to take advantage of it. The very second that it happens, when the good Lord gives you that shot, you got to capitalize on it that fast, guys. You cannot mess around, okay? You can't. Just like a rutting buck. A rutting buck, the trophy that we're always after, that only typically show up when they're behind a hot doe, guess what? They're almost 99% of the time never, ever still. You might stop them. You might get lucky and they stop in your, in your uh, range, within your range, in an opening where you can shoot, but it'll only be for a split second. So you don't have time to judge yardage, to think about anchor, to think about arrow, to think about uh, any of that stuff. You gotta focus draw and get it done that is bow hunting guys and it's that way with any and every animal i mean even bow fishing bow fishing if you've never been bow fishing it's just like shooting animals a fish is on the move a fish rarely sits still it's moving it's cruising it's it, you're taking fast shots you look you draw you shoot okay it's that way in a lot of cases guys so i want to demonstrate how i do mine when i look at a target the only thing i do is pick where i want to put my arrow and if anything i have on most all of my bows i have written on my limb focus and execute that's what i've got written on them. those are the two mental things for me because if i can keep those two things together focus and execute if i can keep those together i'm gonna make that shot without thinking about anything so guys you got to keep it simple you got to keep it simple and keep it fun so let's shoot this thing and by the way i'm gonna shoot my little san lita eagle x9 uh guys i shared in my last video that my hermit 10 ilf bow is my all-time favorite and it is it is the shooting bow that i've ever had uh anywhere close to the money for sure but let me tell you this is one bad to the bone little bow for 99 bucks. That's, that's right. I said it. $99 is what this bow cost. 
and it has got a 19 inch riser with short limbs and it is a flat out shooter i mean just flat out this thing is a shooter okay i got a 45 pounder so i'm gonna show you even with a bow that costs you less than a hundred dollars what they do and how it's done so you don't have to spend big money to bow hunt with with recurves you do not have to spend big money you get good arrows good broadheads and get your bow set up get it set up right get everything right on it and just shoot that's all you got to do guys so let's shoot this one a couple of times right quick and i'll show you what i do focus absolutely perfect shot now you see guys i hit my anchor and i did not hold long at all there it is dead center of a 12 that's it okay all i did all i did was looked and guys i know it sounds too simple sometimes i know it does but it's it's not complicated but if you'll notice i got my bow up I got my bow up before I ever shot, right? I got up and I got my elbow up. Notice guys, my elbow was up. I came up with everything. Had my hand where I wanted it. I came up, my head goes down and I come into my draw, just like that. And once I'm in and I don't lose that focus, that's it, it's gone, done. And that arrow's gonna go where I want it to go that simple guys that is the most simple simple shooting process there is okay so kind of like robert explained in his video if you're focused hard enough even if you have target panic take over and for some reason you short draw the bow knock my air off if you short draw the bow right here and you're focused hard enough, your air is still going where you're looking. It's still going in the spot. You're just not going to have quite as much energy behind it, but it's going to go, okay? And face it, in a hunting situation, when it's cold, you got a lot of clothes on, you're excited, buck fever takes over, all these things, what happens? What happens? Sometimes you short draw your bow. Sometimes you do. So if you're not focused, you don't have a chance of your air going where it needs to go. Okay? So we're talking about a hunting situation here. It happens, guys. It does happen. It's happened to me before. I've shot deer and make a good shot and know full well I did not hit my anchor. Ugh. I, I short drew. I got excited. I... I rushed it. I let it go before I really got into my anchor completely. But did it matter? No. No, it didn't. But to shoot consistently, you really need to, guys. So part of my focus and execution, the execution is my pull-through. That's the part, that's part B that I ride on my bow limbs. Focus and execution. Focus and execute. But when I'm thinking execute, I mean, I sometimes it draw. When I get my bow up, I'm seeing that written on the back of my bow that I'm seeing it. Focus and execute. Okay. Part of executing is hitting my anchor and pulling through. That's, that's part B. Okay. But don't lose the focus. Don't lose it. That's number one. Just like that. Just like that, guys. Look at it. Come up. All day. Every time. If you miss, it's not going to be more than that right there at 20 yards. It's not going to be. Once you learn how to line up, once you learn how to line up on your target and get everything up and get it in line, once you learn how to do that, the rest is history, guys. It is. But there again, yes, you've got to have you got to have your bow 
Right. I mean, you do. Take, for instance, this little Sanlita Eagle X9 right here. Okay. This sweet little $100 bow. All right. Yeah, I've got it wrapped because I don't like my hand moving around if I'm sweaty or I have like Sitka gloves. They want to kind of move on my riser. So I put the Wilson Comfort Grip on. Okay. I love the stuff. All right. But just like this bow, for instance. All right. What I did is I took one of the D97 strings. Uh, I got a D97 string for one of their Royal X8 60 inch recurves. Well, guess what? All I had to do was twist it three or four times and it fit this 58 inch bow perfect, giving me a seven and a half inch brace height. Absolutely perfect, okay? And a true D97 string is quiet. Now guys, I know you may not know the difference in this when it comes to bow strings, so, and I'd love to help explain this to you. Uh, because guys ask me all the time, man, what kind of string do I need to order? Well, it depends on what kind of bow you've got, first of all. Now, this bow is equipped for fast flight, okay? So, I can shoot any string I want to on this bow. Anything. But, what I have found is you have three different kinds of strings. You've got Dacron, which is like a B55, which is really, really soft material. Extremely quiet. That it's safe to shoot on bows that are not built up on the limb tips. Okay? It's safe. But it stretches. It stretches a lot. Okay? Then you have D97. Your regular D97. That's what's on this bow here. And it is very quiet. Has a great feel and great performance. All around, middle of the road, super good, good strings. Like if you order a string from Three Rivers or anywhere and you order a D97 string, it is going to shoot fabulous on your bow, and it's going to be quiet. Now, when you go to other materials, like the BCY materials, uh, that are what we call fast flight, and some of those materials, depending on who builds them, depending on what they are, some of the materials are much stiffer, okay? which has zero stretch, probably eight feet per second in speed, five anyway. But guess what, guys? On a lot of bows, they make them loud. I mean, it's like you can't silence them enough running certain strings. Now, like this particular bow here, this, this $99 Sanlita bow that, that is absolutely wonderful, D97 is quiet. It's just quiet and has really good performance, okay? So kind of keep that in mind when you're ordering a bowstring uh, for any bow that different materials, the stiffer that material is and the less stretch that it has, the louder it's gonna be. Now in 3D, it doesn't matter, but when it comes to hunting, this kind of string here is probably gonna be the go-to. It really is, guys. I mean, they're, they're mighty, mighty fine strings, don't get me wrong. And once they settle, they're great. They're fine. Uh, unlike the uh, Dacron, they don't stretch, but they are quieter. In other words, if you take the string off and you feel this material, it's way more limp than some of the other strings. It really is. So guys get that mixed up a lot of times. And there are D97 fast flight strings. Yes, there are. It's just depending on what material the bow builder uh, or string builder, I'm sorry, uses what type of material that it is, what brand of material it is, because some of them shoot amazing, but you just can't get the quiet shot out of the bow like you can with, with a regular D97 string. That's just the way it is, guys. So keep that in mind. And uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, as always, I love bringing you these videos. I do. And I hope that you find it a little bit helpful, and if you get a chance, please tune in to my friend's YouTube channel. You will love it, guys. It is a great, great, great video, I promise you, and it's all about focus, uh, and focus is everything. It truly, truly is. That's Robert Carter, and guys, it, it just, it was spot on. Like I said, when I watched it, I was like, that's it. That's it exactly. And a lot of people's, you know, that I watch stuff, it it's not so much. It's not. Not not really good for the bow hunter. 
okay? And that's what I am. Guys, I am a hunter. I love shooting 3D. I love getting together with all my friends and having fun and shooting. I do. But I am a hunter. Now, as far as target shooting, there is some super fun stuff that you can do. And I'm going to tell you, there's not many things more fun than going to a big shoot and you know and, and and competing i mean it is just fun especially if you're having a really good time with all your buddies i mean it is but still you can you can do the same and if you choose to aim there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with it as long as you can do it to a point that you can manage it where you can subconsciously do it at any distance not have to look and try to judge yardage not have to try to use a rangefinder but look at an animal in the wild look at it look exactly where you want that arrow to go and put it there without thought that's the key guys and fellas if you'd like to get one of these bows uh matter of fact i had a guy message me this morning wanting to know which budget bow i would recommend for his wife that's five foot two and real quickly i recommended one of these because you will never ever ever buy a bow that will shoot with this bow for a hundred dollars um or a lot more actually but the quality the feel the mass weight the performance of this eagle x9 guys you you're not going to beat it from san Lita. and i will put a link there in the description um, that you can get them for $99. Uh, it's a promo link. Okay, so I'll put that up there and What you want to do Because they come with an endless loop Dacron string uh, Now they're changing them over they're starting to put these strings on them But you may get one that's already warehoused because their warehouse is here in Tennessee and You may get one that's got the Dacron string. So what I would do guys is I would order Order one of the recurve strings, one of the D97 recurve strings that they offer that is for the Royal X8 recurve. And all you got to do is twist it up a couple of times and it works like a charm on these 58 inch bows, guys. It works flat out. Don't ask me how, but it just works. And that's what I've got on this one here. And it it, it is so much quieter and smoother than that string that comes with it guys so because you know they just on these for that price they don't include a premium string that's the only thing that they don't have but other than that no you do not have to do anything to them except shoot them uh i did put the velcro under my limb pockets they come with really really good leather ones that work fine i'm just i love velcro because it doesn't move once you've locked your limbs down and you shoot a bunch anything that's not adhesive back wants to tend to kind of move just a little bit the velcro doesn't and it's super quiet guys and i back my limbs with it everything so i mean this bow is as quiet as a mouse okay so that's what you want to do and i'll put the link up for you guys so that you'll be able to go and get you one for 99 dollars to your door takes about four to five days you'll have it thank you as always god bless you